for those Mario fans out there, I've printed up two different bullet bills. They look pretty sweet, and you know what? It didn't take very long. Here is the King Rune KLP-1. It is a Core XY 3D printer. If you're not familiar with that, you actually have the print head on the X and Y axis that move. A lot of times you'll see the print bed move back and forth. This print bed just goes up and down. So when you have a Core XY, you actually speed up the prints and that's pretty awesome. It does have a touch sensitive display and it's somewhat difficult to use without a stylus. Of course, it is running Clipper. The cool thing is when you hook this up to your Wi-Fi, you can also access the entire system from your computer. I love the option to either use it from the computer or right here on the device itself. Welcome back to another GF Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at the King Rune KLP-1, their Core XY 3D printer. You know what though, enough talk, let's get right into this review. And what we're gonna do first is we are gonna have it unboxed and we are gonna set it up and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Here's our King Rune 3D printer and I'm excited to get going, but first we have to take off some safety screws that were put in for transportation to make sure everything stays safe and secure. The good news is the company labeled everything with arrows, so it's almost user error free. Let's get the first one out and then we'll get all the other ones as well. You can see our first one we have to do, here's an arrow, takes us down here and actually the screws right under here and one of the Allen wrenches that are included will take it right out. We're coming up right here and start spinning. And that first screw has been removed. Now that the screw from the Y axis has been removed, you can gently pull away the X axis to get a hold of the screw behind there. The two screws from the X and Y axis have already been removed. Now we have to remove the screws from the Z axis and adjust these two right here. The next step is we are to be taking off the film, the protective film off of our side pieces and top and door. But man, this was really tough to get started. But once it got started, it comes off pretty easily. In order to install the side panels, you actually have to take the screws off on either side. There are a total of four of them, two for the left and two for the right. You unscrew them here from the inside, but then you're gonna screw them back in through the outside. You can see that this comes with actually a lot of different connections. You have your ethernet connection. If you did not want to connect this wirelessly, you also have three different USB ports. You have two standard and one 3.0 port. I guess you can use a camera for this and maybe even using your USB and such for the other two. It is kind of cool to have this many connections. Next step is I just sprayed this um, paper towel with some rubbing alcohol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off the entire build plate. And the reason why I do this is one, there could be oils from the factory. And two, you just wanna make sure you give your prints the best opportunity to stick and to come out correctly. So I just clean off the entire build plate with the rubbing alcohol and then I'll let it dry for a few minutes. This does have a magnetic print bed that you can just take off really, really easily. The only thing I wish it had is when you put it back on, I wish it had some sort of a guide to slide back into place. You almost have to like line it up and make sure it is squared, but it is a pretty sweet print bed. The size of this print bed is eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. When we load our filament, we wanna make sure our tube is pushed in all the way. That may not have come that way from the factory. Mine is, but yours may not. So make sure that's pushed in all the way. To load our filament accessing right here from the touch screen, we're gonna click Actions. We're gonna go over here to where it says Extrude. And then of course, we're gonna click Load. Once we click Load, you're gonna see this temperature climb all the way up to 220 degrees Celsius. That's the computer part. Now we have to go do the hardware part. They actually want us to cut the filament on an angle and I have done that. I actually think I'm gonna switch this around so it goes up and over. That might make it easier. Anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the filament and go through this piece. You're gonna see it change into a blue light. So you gotta get this just the right way so it actually goes through the entire piece. There it goes, it comes out the one end. And now we're gonna stick it right in here. And what you actually have to do is manually put this all the way to the head. So let's just push this through. You'll know when we get to the end when it stops. If you pay attention right here, I'm gonna finish pushing this through and you can actually see the filament coming to the end. There it is. So we're all the way there to the end. Oop, watch this. There it goes. It looks like we are now reaching the temperature and so this is being pulled in through. All right, so you can see that as soon as it works its way through, it comes out of the print head. You're just gonna have to clean this part up 
after it comes through, but now you know that you are actually successfully loaded. Once this cycles all the way and we're done, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make sure our bed is calibrated and then we are going to set up for our very first print. So tell me, what are your thoughts of this 3D printer? You like it, not so much? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. The calibration is pretty easy. Now I do have the calibration video here sped up. It takes totally about three minutes, but first what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the configuration button, no, the settings button there, and then you can go over to where it says bed mesh. From here, all you're gonna do is click the button on the top right that says calibrate and the King Rune KLP1 does all the work for you. We're gonna set up our first print. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the clipper app right here on the King Rune itself. It's exactly the same as it is on the computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the print. I'm gonna locate the pen holder. That's my first thing because I need to put the stylus somewhere so I don't lose it. So we're gonna click print. And of course now this is gonna start warming up the bed and the print nozzle. I really love this view where you can watch it print because you can really see that core XY in action, how the print bed is staying stable, but that print head is moving back and forth, making a nice, clean print. It's awesome to watch, but more importantly, your prints come out quick and they are actually printed pretty decently. And we are done, pretty cool. I'm gonna attach this to the side of our KLP1, and now we can store our stylus. There, of course, is our stylus screwed right into the side. I used the screws that came for the side panels. And you know what? I really like that it's got a cool spot to hold it. Now we want to unload our filament. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that action button. We're gonna go click on extrude. And of course there is unload. Yet again, now the print head will start to heat up. It actually just starts feeding out the filament. I do help it even though you don't really need to, but as you can see, it is out. In this video, we are looking at King Rune's KLP1. So what did we think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. It is probably the most impressive part, $380. By far, this is the cheapest Core XY printer that I've seen. Right out of the box, you did have to do a little bit of setup and it took me, like I said, right about an hour, but then it was up and running and ready to print. As I was printing, in my opinion, the prints looked pretty decent and they're really, really quick. That was awesome. I wish I could say that my entire experience was perfect, but it was not. I noticed my prints were shifting across the print bed and I actually had to tighten down the belts. What I appreciated was King Rune has released a lot of tutorials and different ways that you can modify and adjust and fix your printer. And to be honest with you, within about 15 minutes, I was up and running again. It should be known that that's the same kind of maintenance you would do with any 3D printer, but I do appreciate that they have those online tutorials. When you're doing some of the calibrations, you're gonna hear loud, loud noises, almost thinking like, whoa, this machine's gonna break, but it's actually moving at such a fast rate of speed and calibrating, you just need to know that is to be expected. I have a lot of experience with different 3D printers. So for me jumping right in, there wasn't a learning curve. But if you've had no experience yourself, I would say make sure you read up and know how to use machines, this one or any other before jumping right into it. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a great day. I have had a whole lot of fun printing with this. As you can see, this first thing that I printed was a Buffalo Bill cell phone holder. I thought that was pretty cool. All you do is slide your phone on there and it sticks. It was actually a pretty neat print. And if you take a close look, these lines are pretty clean and crisp and definitely straight. It did a good job. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the King Room KLP-1. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually reviewed another 3D printer and it's the Toy Box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it. It's safe, I promise.